baby i am so in love with you already like wow hello lovelies this is your girl the real jesse ash if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back i appreciate you i love you and you know you're the best you're the best if you're a first time if you're just coming across this video for the first time across me for the first time to see me for the first time then okay this channel is all about fashion beauty and lifestyle if this is something you're interested in you should have subscribed by now before i finish because it's going to be a ride we are family here you know. it's all about showing you how to achieve this flawless beautiful oh my god <laughs> like look it's all about achieving this look without foundation this is an everyday look you can you know spice it the way you like i'm just giving you the step on how to achieve a flawless look without even doing so much what am i here for if i don't give you the spice will be set my face with this kids beauty spray just spray my face i'll allow that dry down a bit i just like to have my hand fan close to make everything really fast a moisturizer and a lot of us don't use this but you need this to achieve that flawless look i'll just be massaging this like into my skin yeah, everybody needs a moisturizer from your dry skin to your combination skin to the oiliest skin you need a moisturizer please do not skip this step so i'm using the mismetic water jelly primer um, I, this is one of the testers i had um when i bought things during the treats I, I don't know i don't really fancy this primer i don't enjoy it I don't know if I don't apply it properly, but then I think I want to use it now. Sticky. I won't allow it because I normally wait let my primer sink into my skin, but I won't do that now. When you get a bit tacky, then I'll start applying it every other thing. I'm just applying it everywhere because it's water based. It's not mattifying, I guess. So can be applied everywhere this is not for review Desha. i'm just saying just in case you want to run and get it it don't look like i was the one that approved of it i i don't fancy it yet maybe i'm not using it rightly but today i'm using it in a different way so let's see how it goes a bit sticky now um, it's still yeah, it's a bit sticky now then another step that might shock you <laughs> I'm going to be using my classic lipstick as a blush. If you have your single blush or whatever you have, use it. I'm using this lipstick by classic. I like my blush really bright, so I got this color. It's so cute. So I just blended out my blush. It looks really nice and faint, which is not my vibe. You can stop here, but then I like the really, really, you know, popping blush. So I'm going to reinforce it after everything. So yeah, I'm going to be using Blossom Spotless Concealer. I'm in love with this concealer. Like, I don't have any problem with it. It's just perfect. I just apply this under my eyes. These steps might be really weird to you, but trust me, this takes like less than 20 minutes. You're done with your makeup and you'll be popping like you did every step a makeup artist does. Let's blend this baby, so just tapping motion. you're wondering like you have a lot of blemishes and acne and the rest of them all you need to do is to get a full coverage concealer a full coverage um, powder and yes if you want me to recommend for you just come into my comment section and tell me i recommend for you if you have any very bright spots that you want to clear or hide i'll just put my concealer behind my hand 
place it on the spot and then trust me this step you can definitely skip it if you have a uh, full coverage um, powder I was going to skip it but I just wanted to show you guys in case you already have something you're using but it's not a full coverage powder or whatever so I'll just blend that and it's going to hide that spot I normally use palette powder but if you don't have I'm going to be using relatable items compact powder it's space friendly so you can also get this so why I have three powder instead of probably two is because I got this feral gold feral gold uh, compact and face definer and then I didn't think the contour wasn't dark enough so I wanted something like that so I had this Maybelline powder compact powder and the contour is delicious it's so dark I am love with it I love the shade I'm just going to mix it up with the feral gold then this is my full face powder shade so let's start I'm going to be using this you see how blurry and smooth in that looks already wow that's impressive I'm using them for the first time so I'm surprised myself <laughs> uh, just pat it pat it so i just advise please whenever you're applying your powder on or whatever base tapping motion is always better so you don't move the product all right then i'll go into my compact powder for all over my face all that blush but whatever why i applied the lipstick first of all was because i Want to do cream to cream plus i'm always using so much lipstick so my concealer kinds of you know reduces um, reduces the one i don't need and all of that so i set my whole face blend the cheek everywhere just you know seals and um, that matches divine same powder brush to contour I'm mixing it up the Maybelline and Feral Gold Face Definer, not so, so it's not be too dark because this is so dark. So, it's all my nose. So, I like to use a brush that's kind of angle and fluffy, easy to blend. So, I already dipped it into the two of them. I love to contour. <laughs> I don't know how you can go out without contouring, but man, I just love how the whole thing just changes your face, giving you a whole new look. Up to last longer and you want your face to be more brighter and smoother you can use setting powder you can but if you want to just leave it at this and move on with your day definitely the there are no rules i'm going to use setting powder because why not using this feral gold um helen c finished setting powder i don't know they have another type too but i don't know how that one works i'm setting all over all my nose on my forehead I'm not baking, I'll just blend it out. I have a smoother look. This is going to help my makeup last a whole lot longer. This just blood my pores more and you know reduce that contour line. Like it's not looking more natural. So if you all want a brow tutorial, you can always tell me in the comment section. It will be strictly 
brow tutorial. Filling my brows now using the same concealer. I'll do this off camera, sorry. For my eyes, I just use my contour powder, my highlights to you know pack on my eyes. Sorry, the file. My camera said acting up, so I didn't record that. I use my jack. I'm going to just pop my jacking mascara now. I don't really have much lashes, right? So I like to fix falls. So you can stop at this point. You can just you know put your mascara and stop here, but man. I don't have lashes and I like lashes. It makes the whole look come together. So I'm going to do that off camera and then come and do my lip. So I'm using this brow pencil. I like silver line, so this is it. already a look but then I like to pop it with this nude they are both metallic colors it has a kind of shimmer and this shimmer does not have texture so I just put this over here okay then I use my clear gloss that's tone color I don't want so much because the glow from the um, lipstick is already giving me what I want, so just a little. Baby girl, if you want this look to last even long, even much longer, set your face. every bit of it because i did i love this look i love how glowy it is i love how versatile the look is also and i love you know i love me a glossy bold lip i hope i tried in teaching you guys how to achieve this beautiful subtle and yet glam this is something you enjoyed watching please give this video a thumbs up and give us a comment and definitely if you have any questions about this look, you can always ask me in the comment section. I will definitely be honored to answer you. Mm -hmm.